What's going on guys, hope you're having a great day and welcome to episode 21. In this episode we achieve a goal that we've been working towards since episode 2, so stay tuned for that. And also we make progress on our way to base 90 stats, and last but not least we end up doing some raids as well. So I hope you all enjoy. So since I have the achievement diary cape and the quest cape but I can't use them anymore because I haven't done this quest, I'm going to do this quest real quick. And that is a new quest complete. Coming in with an elite clue on kill count 1237. So we will do that straight after this trip. It, no, it, 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 it finally, oh my god, it finally happened. <gasps> oh my god, it happened. No way. Oh my god. No. Oh my god, my heart is pounding. No, no way. It's over. It's fucking over. Oh my god. I can't believe I finally get to say it, but Armadale is finished after 1,238 kills, 7 chest plates, 2 hilts, 4 helms, and finally we get the chain skirt on 1,238. So what's next since I completed Armadale? Well, the goal was either get Rigor or get Armadale, and then I started Sarah so I could get the ACB for raids. The SGS isn't that useful, but it would still be nice, as I would still be doing Slayer for Herb Seeds. And I still don't have a Ceridome of Light, so that would like bright up Zami, but I've already completed Zami, so there's no point in me going back there unless I wanted the pet. So I think it would be Ceridome that I will be doing next, and hopefully I don't go as dry as I did at Armadale. Time to open the last clue from Kriara. So let's hope she gives us something good. And it's like every elite clue I've ever had. 95 teeth planks though, I will take that happily, thank you. Got this hard clue from Aviancies along with like 120 Addy bars and that was just amazing. I need to get more Aviancies tasks now. So let's open this hard clue. Uh, that's disappointing. Back to back of inspectors, don't mind if I do. 214, I will quite happily go and kill those right now. Thank you very much, Steve. Coming in with a master casket. I think this is number 11, so let's hope for a unique. Don't get a unique, but you get some good alka balls. Black Dehyde and Toad Flax, the two fire lighters aren't that nice to see, but I'm happy with that clue. Probably won't be in the video, no, my hard clue luck, but let's go. We get a Zami Stole, Zami Stole, a Zami Blessing, and a bunch of alcohols. That's not a bad clue, you know. Didn't go as smooth as my last couple, but here we have another fire, fire, I can't speak, another fire cape. 15 HP left, no pet, let us gamble the cape real quick. Please don't get it. We're not lucky, thank you. Probably not going in the video. Felt like I haven't checked Kingdom in a good while, so let's have a look and check our approval rating. 81. It's only been 19 days, but... Right, let's check Kingdom really quick and collect our resources. Let's have a look. What? You need one free space. Oh my god. And we're coming in with a very significant level right about now. So let's get it real quick. 92 herb blue, halfway to 99. Which does look very nice indeed, boosts up the total level a bit, and also 678k until 93. Can't wait for that. Ooh. And here we are coming in with yet another 90 skill. Here we have 90 room crafting. Oh god, that does feel nice. 90 room crafting. Smithing is next, and that will only take like a, two hours at most, so let's go. Oh, yeah, soul runes as well, so 
I might actually craft some soul runes, but I have enough, so probably not. Maybe. It's the morning right now, and I've not long woken up, but this is like a major achievement, and I need to like record it. So I just finished collecting my dailies, doing my farm run, and everything. And I just realized we have officially hit a two bill bank. Now, this is the first time I've ever hit two bill, it will probably go down due to like prices just fluctuating and everything. But this is the first time we hit two bill, I have it on recording, and it looks amazing. There is no other words for it, it just looks so good. Very significant level about to be coming in right here. Right after I collect my bars. And here we have 90 smithing. And by my calculations, oh, we can make rune skims. We can make dragonfire shells without boosting, that's nice. Uh, other than that, nothing else really. Uh, we have two skills under 90 left. So that feels incredible. Probably going to be doing construction next. And I so should have been recording. But it turns out we end up getting another troll drop, which turns out to be the dragon harpoon. So it's not the worst drop, I guess, since I still have to do fishing. But let's be honest, it's pretty damn useless. So how much is it worth? 7.9 more. At least it adds to the bank value, I guess. That's not bad. I thought it was a lot worse than that. And literally, literally right after that raids clip, we're coming in with 91 mining. That looks amazing. And also officially 100 levels until max. That'll be a long ass time, but we will get there. Just calculated everything for construction and it turns out that I need dead on 10k or mahogany planks to get 90 construction. So I am going to make those and before I do that, there's one thing I haven't built yet and that is the ma the servant's money bag, that's what it's called. And we're going to put, how much we're going to put in there? Uh, deposit, let's put one mil in there and let's go and make the planks now. And here we have 83 construction, that was so fast I wasn't expecting the level at all. But 83 construction, we probably won't be recording every level as it will get really repetitive. But other than that I'll probably be back with 85, maybe 86 construction. I just had some long bones in my bank and I thought why not just turn them in quick, so let's turn them in. 27k, yes please. How much XP? 40k, that was hella worth it. I have like 14 left, so I'll go and do those real quick and then get back to making mahogany planks. Sorry for the scuff screen region, but here we are with 86 construction. Four more to go, and hopefully it'll be over quick. And here we are with 89 construction. You had to ruin the interface, didn't you? But one more to go until the 90 and we can stop for this skill for a while. And with this last one we are going to hit 90 construction. So what does that let us make? Uh, the occult, oh, uh, the rejuvenation pool. I can upgrade my jewelry box as well. I need to boost one level, but I can do that. I can make the, oh, the marble cake brack. I will do that as well. I need to just do everything in my house, decorate it and everything. But 90 construction, that looks great. Only fire making left to go until we have base 90s, and I can get back on with some Slayer because I have run out of herb seeds. And that is 666 tasks done in a row. I ended up getting 208 Addy Bars from that. So that is a complete amazing task. I will continue doing these in the future. And while you're like here, let's just get a new task and see what we get real quick. Hopefully I can get seeds from it. Still dragons. Still, I'm going to do it because I still need a Vissy. 
didn't expect another item so quick, but we ended up getting an arcane prayer scroll, which is augury, and that will help out a lot during the arm fight. So all we're missing now from the prayers is rigor, which I hope to get soon, but you never know. Let's just, just learn augury. Can it click? Thank you very much. Yeah. So one more until the prayer book is completed. Coming in with a dragon plate skirt quite early into the wyvern task. This probably will be out at some point, but right now we're just like stacking them up until I kind of need the cash. And on the same trip, we end up picking up an elite clue. So we will do that straight after this trip. Oh, and battle stuffs as well. That is a good drop. We have a hard and elite clue here, so we didn't get anything from the last slot. So let's see if we get anything from this slot. We get Dragon Scroll Tellies and another Royal Scepter, Elf Camp Teleport, so we'll take that. And the planks will come in handy when I do construction. So, all in all, not a bad clue. So, I got a task of 35 crazy archaeologists. I've been hopping every kill just to speed it up a bit. We're looking for the Odium, and I think this is my fourth Malediction Shard, too. It could be my third, but I'm pretty sure it's my fourth. So, rip. I will be coming back here at some point for the Odium Shard though, because I would like to complete both of the wards. And if you made it this far, you made it to the end of yet another episode. And in this episode, one of the biggest notable things for me, at least, has to be the chain skirt, because that just took so long. I did 99 Hunter back in the day for 99 range, so all the XP after 99 Hunter is Chins for Armadale, and I am. 23.9 mil hunter xp at the moment so i basically did 11 mil hunter xp just for armadale tasks which is completely ridiculous we got hit with another troll drop from raids then unexpectedly we got another drop five raids later which turned out to be our first prayer which was augury and that is just incredible that will help so much for on fights the 20 percent extra defense is just going to be great and last but not least, fire making is going to be our last skill to hit base 90s. So everything is looking up. And if you listen to me ramble for this long, then you're a legend. So if you like the video, then hit the thumbs up. I also reply to every comment. And lastly, subscribe. Thanks for watching.